Hello friends, myself Dr. Nandukumar Rawawale from College of Engineering Ambazogai is going to discuss fluid mechanics. In previous lecture, we have discussed about hydraulic gradient line HGL and total energy line TEL. Today, we are going to discuss about the flow through siphon. <coughs> what this siphon is? Now, siphon is nothing but a pipe which is bent. So, here which connects two reservoirs. Reservoir A is connected with the reservoir 2, uh, sorry B, where the level of difference in the water surface is say, let us assume H. So this capital H is the difference of water level or liquid level in two reservoirs A and B. And this siphon is going to carry this water from the reservoir at higher level to the reservoir at lower level while passing from reservoir at higher level to the reservoir at lower level this pipe is moving in such a way that the level of siphon, uh, siphon is going to rise above the level of uh, the surface of water in the reservoir of uh, higher or upper uh, level so this uh, difference we can find here <coughs> so this is the uh, main thing that we have to note down here so the water automatically flows up in this siphon uh, above the level of uh, water in the reservoir at higher level so this is going to be created due to vacuum or suction created by the flow of liquid and the highest point of this siphon is known as a summit so this point C is known as a summit so now what happens here when this uh, water or liquid flows through the siphon the suction is created here so the suction which is created here can be maximum of 10.3 meters of water maximum suction created can be of 10.3 meters of water column so but actually what happens the suction created is not going to be 10.3 meters of water so that is going to be 7.6 meters of water and the difference between this these two that is 10.3 <coughs> 10.3 minus 7.6 uh, going to be 2.7 meters of water absolute so this 2.7 meters of absolute uh, is going to be the uh, pressure at this point C say so if this pressure falls below this 2.7 meters of water absolute then the uh, gases or air which is dissolved in water gets separated and accumulates at point C and chokes up the flow. So the pressure uh, which is uh, going to be here at point C or at the summit should not fall below 2.7 meters of water absolute and if it is going to fall below then the absolute uh, the dissolved gases or air is uh, come out from the water and gets collected at the summit therefore the flow of water will be choked up or it will be obstructed <coughs> therefore the siphon is having certain um, functions or we can call this as uses where this siphon can be used so very first uh, this siphon is used to carry the water or liquid from one reservoir to the another reservoir uh, separated by a hill or ridge so hill or ridge. A ridge is nothing but a imaginary over constructed just like a bridge shape. So this kind of structure is known as a ridge. So this is how this siphon is used. Then second uh, to take out the liquid from tank which is not having any outlet. Say for example uh, you are going to remove the oil in a barrel. So it has got a outlet at the top only and we are going to suck the liquid or oil from the barrel using a pump so that is a pipe that is nothing but a uh, siphon technique uh, then 
to empty the channel not provided with any uh, outlet sluice so if a channel is there and if it is not provided with any outlet sluice then uh, such type of technique or siphon is used by creating suction the liquid can be taken out from this <coughs> channel so these are the functions of this siphon now we will have we will discuss about the numerical of this siphon how this siphon works and uh, what kind of pressure is uh, going to exist over this siphon so now we will discuss one numerical <coughs> a siphon having diameter d is 200 mm diameter connects two reservoirs having a difference in level so difference in level that is capital H is 20 meter and the length of siphon is total length L is 500 meter and summit is 3 meters above the <coughs> level of water in the upper reservoir so the distance of summit from the level of upper reservoir to the summit is 3 meter and the length of pipe from upper reservoir to summit so this we call as L1 length of <coughs> uh, siphon or pipe from upper reservoir to summit is 100 meter therefore the remaining length of uh, siphon or uh, pipe is 400 meter L2 is going to be 400 determine the discharge so we have to find out Q <coughs> <coughs> through the siphon and also pressure at the summit so we have to find out pressure at summit at point C then uh, neglect minor losses so here we are supposed to neglect minor losses and coefficient of friction is given so let us collect this data so now um, we see here diameter of siphon is 200 mm and the level in the difference of water in the upper reserve and lower reservoir is 20 meter then total length of siphon is 500 meter and the uh, level of summit above the uh, level of reservoir in the upper <coughs> reservoir is 3 meter and length of a pipe from the upper reservoir to summit is 100 meter and remaining length we are going to get as 400 meter 400 plus 100 is equal to 500 and coefficient of friction is 0 0.005 <coughs> so he is asking to find out q and the pressure at summit that is uh, pc divided by rho g we have to find out so q is obtained by a into v so we know area of uh, the siphon that is pi by 4 d square diameter is known so if we know velocity we can find out q so to know velocity what is to be done that we have to see here so when this siphon <coughs> is acting uh, between pipe uh, sorry uh, uh, lower reserve upper reservoir to the lower reservoir so we can apply Bernoulli's equation so applying Bernoulli's equation at point A and at point B <coughs> so this we can write and whereas the losses uh, for the coefficient of friction there will be loss of uh, head due to uh, friction and that is uh, also added on left hand side uh, sorry on right hand side because the uh, liquid or water flows through the siphon or pipe uh, there will be a friction so this equation gives us the velocity in this uh, uh, pipe or uh, the head loss in the pipe uh, from this head loss in the pipe we can find out uh, velocity and that velocity can be substituted in second equation so applying Bernoulli's equation between point A and C so what these points A and C are that we see here so when this pipe uh, liquid flows through this uh, siphon so when we apply the first equation between point a and point b and second equation we apply between point a and c so first equation when we apply between point a and b there will be flow of liquid from point a to point b so velocity at point a <coughs> and velocity at point b is going to be same so therefore uh, we can say VA is equal to VB and pressure acting at point A is atmospheric pressure pressure acting at point B is also atmospheric pressure 
so both the pressures on left hand side and right hand side are going to be same that is nothing but pa divided by rho g is equal to pb divided by rho g whereas the velocity at point a is going to be same as velocity at point b because it is a stagnant initially and z a minus z b so we know z a if we take this b as the label a datum a reference line then difference between a and b is 20 so b is taken as 0 a is taken as 20 z a is taken as 20 and z b is taken as 0 because we are going to take b as the datum line so there we can find out uh, this hf hf is nothing but 4flv square divided by 2gd so here we get velocity and that velocity we can substitute in this q equation we can get flow rate <coughs> now uh, when we are going to apply this Bernoulli's equation uh, between point uh, a and c point a and c at that time pressure is not going to be same so here pressure acting is atmospheric pressure at point a whereas at point c the pressure is vacuum pressure which is acting because of suction created by this liquid flowing in the right direction so here suction is created so pressures are not going to be same <coughs> therefore uh, we can find out uh, the pressure at point c so that we can see here while solving this numerical so now what we can do is and neglecting minor losses in the siphon and applying Bernoulli's equation between point A and B we can write this equation as PA divided by rho g just now we have seen plus of BA square divided by 2g plus of ZA is equal to <coughs> PB divided by rho g plus of vb square divided by 2g plus of zb plus of head loss due to friction so actually all losses uh, loss due to sudden bend and large bend all losses have to be considered but uh, in this problem he has given that the minor losses have to be neglected so uh, we can say that pressure at a and pressure at B is atmospheric pressure therefore PA divided by rho G PB divided by rho G gets cancelled then <coughs> VB V and VB are going to be same because uh, at point A <coughs> the velocity of liquid and at point B velocity of liquid is going to be same so therefore we can cancel this VA divided by uh, VA square divided by 2G and VB square divided by 2G so what we are going to have here is ZA minus ZB is equal to PHF so ZA minus ZB the level in the difference ZB we are going to assume as a zero because we are going to take this B as the datum line datum or reference so ZB is taken as zero and ZA is taken as 20 above this <coughs> so difference of ZA minus ZB is 20 is equal to HF so 20 is equal to hf means 4 f el v square divided by 2 g d so now we can see here 20 is equal to 4 into f value is given in this problem that is coefficient of friction is 0 0.005 point zero zero five point zero zero five into l length of siphon or pipe is uh, total length is given in this problem is 500 meter so l is 500 meter so you can take l as 500 meter into v square v we don't know velocity of liquid flowing we don't know <coughs> then 2 into diameter of siphon is 200 mm 200 mm means it is 0.2 meter into g is 9.81 so if we simplify so velocity v is equal to we will get it as square root of
20 divided by 20 so this 20 is taken in the numerator and if we calculate this complete term we are going to get it as 2.548 so velocity v is equal to we are going to get it as 2.80 meters per <coughs> second therefore discharge q is equal to area into velocity so area is equal to pi by 4 d square diameter is 200 so point 200 mm so point 0.2 meters square into velocity is 2.80 so we get it as 0 0.0879 meter cube per second or this can be 87.9 liters per second liters per second so this is how we are going to find out discharge now we will apply this Bernoulli's equation between point A and point C and to find out pressure at point C so let us uh, apply applying Bernoulli's equation points A and C we can write here PA divided by rho G plus of VA square divided by 2G plus of ZA is equal to <coughs> PC divided by rho g we are applying at point c a and c therefore pc divided by rho g is equal to vc square divided by 2g <coughs> plus of zc plus of head loss due to friction hf so now we can say this PA divided by rho G is So now this PA divided by rho G is taken as 10.3 which is atmospheric pressure in meters of water plus of VA divided by 2G. VA divided by 2G so velocity of liquid at point A is going to be 0. So it is assumed that the level uh, the water is stagnant in this tank so this is going to be 0. And this uh, reference line is taken at point A so this ZA is going to be 0 taking Z uh, the level of water in the tank A or reservoir A is as a datum line so ZA is taken as 0 <coughs> which is equal to PC divided by rho G plus of velocity at point C is going to be velocity that we have obtained that is 2.8 square divided by 2 into 9.81 plus of ZC so the level of summit above this uh, reservoir level zc is taken as three meters <coughs> three meters plus of the head loss due to friction is taken as four tf el v square divided by 2g d so this is 10.3 is equal to pc divided by rho g plus of 
2.8 square divided by 2 into 9.81 as it is plus of 3 plus of 4 into f is 0 0.005 into l <coughs> the length of pipe from the upper reservoir to the summit is 100 meters and v which we have seen is 2.8 meters per second divided by 2g g is 2 into 9.8 Eight one and D is point two that is two hundred mm. <coughs> so ten point three is equal to PC and divided by a rho G plus of. So if we calculate this complete term, so this complete term is going to be seven point three nine nine. So PC divided by rho G is equal to so if we subtract this 10.3 10 10 minus 7.399 so this is going to be 7.399 so this is 2.901 meters of absolute pressure or if we want to find out this as vacuum so if we subtract from this 10.3 atmospheric pressure so this is absolute pressure absolute pressure is sum of absolute pressure is equal to uh, atmospheric pressure plus of gauge pressure so if you want to find out gauge pressure or vacuum pressure so if we subtract from absolute pressure as atmospheric pressure then pc divided by rho g is equal to 2.901 minus of 10.3 so this is going to be minus 7.399 meters of water this is vacuum negative sign indicates that there is a vacuum at point C <coughs> so this pressure is absolute pressure this is a vacuum pressure so now we will uh, see another problem another numerical over this So now there is another siphon having again diameter as D is equal to 200 mm. The diameter uh, connects two reservoirs having difference in the elevation that is H capital H is 40 mm. The length of siphon or total length of pipe is 8000 meter. The pipe crosses a ridge. Now uh, <coughs> a ridge is nothing but a uh, imaginary construction through which this uh, pipe is going to pass the summit e of ridge is 8 meters above the water level so this is hx a meter above the water level in the upper reservoir the length of pipe from upper reservoir to summit is this is l1 is 500 meter determine the minimum depth uh, of pipe below the summit of ridge so that is x we have to find out that we see what is x if the absolute pressure head at the summit of the siphon is not to fall below so absolute pressure is given as uh, 3 meters of water so this is pc divided by rho g in absolute is given as 3 meters of water so the atmospheric pressure head is 10.3 meters so atmospheric pressure is given here in fine discharge so we have to find out q neglect minor losses the coefficient of friction is given so now what is given that we see here <coughs> diameter of siphon is given the level in the reservoir water is 40 meter so l length of this total pipe is given so h1 or hx is given as here that is uh, reservoir upper reservoir to the ridge 
HR, we call this as HR, is given as 8 meter. Then the distance of ridge to the uh, summit is assumed as X. So then H is equal to 8 minus X. So here what is this H, R, D, S and X that we see here. So we take this as H, R. So from upper level of upper reservoir surface, uh, the uh, distance from the surface of uh, water in the upper reservoir to the ridge. So this is taken as H, R. And this distance from uh, the summit ridge to the peak point is taken as X that is we call as a DS and this difference from this point to this we call as a H. So usually we are going to take H but here in case of ridge so HR is this distance total distance minus of X is H <coughs> that is given here and L1 is the length of pipe from upper reservoir so this length A to C is 500 meter and L2 remaining length is 7500 coefficient of friction is 0 0.006 and pressure at point C absolute pressure is 3 meters of water <coughs> and atmospheric pressure is 10.3 meters of water in terms of water so we have to find out discharge Q and distance X so applying this Bernoulli's equation uh, at point A and B in the same way as in the previous case. So we can find here a velocity again <coughs> and applying the Bernoulli's equation between point A and C we can find out the what you say second thing x. So Q is uh, given as Q is equal to A into V. So once we know velocity, area is known, velocity is known, discharge we can find out. <coughs> so now let us see what is given here. So this is capital H and small h is equal to HR minus DS. Actually we need H, so here in this case HR minus DS and this is L1 is equal to 500 and L2 is equal to 7500 meters. The total length of pipe is 8000 meters. So now applying Bernoulli's equation between point A and B, we can find out the velocity as in previous case. So here applying Bernoulli's equation between points between point A and B. We can write PA divided by rho G plus of VA square divided by 2G plus of ZA is equal to PB divided by rho G plus of VB square divided by 2G plus of ZB plus of 4 PF L V square divided by 2 G D. So pressure acting at point A is atmospheric pressure, pressure acting at point B is atmospheric pressure, these two are going to get cancelled. So then the velocity at A is same as velocity at B and is going to get cancelled. So V A is equal to V. These two liquids are assumed to be stagnant. So now Z A minus Z B. So taking this B as the level, <coughs> the datum, datum is taken here. So ZB is taken as 0, ZA is taken as 40. So our ZA minus ZB we call is equal to 4 EF EL V square divided by 2 G D. So ZA minus ZB is 40 meters. 40 is equal to 4 
into F is uh, given here, coefficient of friction is given as 0 0.006. So point zero zero six into L is eight thousand meters into V square divided by two into G is nine point eight one into diameter is again two hundred mm is point two meters. So here on simplification, so V is equal to <coughs> we can take it as square root of 40 into 2 into 9.81 into 0.2 divided by 4 into 0 0.006 into 8000. So this we get P as velocity is 0 0.904 meters per second so once we know velocity we can find out discharge <coughs> q q is equal to so we find it here q is equal to area into velocity so area is equal to pi by 4 d square into v so pi by 4 d square is diameter of siphon is point uh, two meter point two square into velocity is point nine zero four which we have obtained here so this charge we get as point zero two eight three meter cube per second or that is taken as twenty eight point three liters liters per second so this is q now we have obtained this discharge now applying this Bernoulli's equation between point a and c so now applying between points A and C so we can apply this as PA divided by rho G <coughs> plus of VA square divided by 2G plus of ZA is equal to PC divided by rho G plus of VB square divided sorry VC square divided by 2G <coughs> plus of ZC plus of 4 FL V square divided by 2G D. So we can we can call this as L1 because we are applying between point A to C. So now uh, what is given in this problem is uh, he has given this atmospheric pressure acting at point A. So this is given. Now we cannot cancel PA divided by rho G with PC divided by rho G because the pressure is not going to be same at point C and at point A. So pressure acting at point A is atmospheric pressure whereas pressure acting here absolute pressure acting is 3 meters of water column absolute. So these two things are given in this problem. <coughs> now V A square so velocity of liquid in this reservoir at point A is taken as zero because uh, the liquid is not going to flow or it is assumed to be stagnant. So there will not be sudden fall in the level of water. So it is assumed to be zero as compared with velocity at point C. Velocity at point A is going to be very, very small. And we are taking this A, the level of water in the upper reservoir as a data. So this ZA is taken as 0 and VC so velocity of liquid at point C is equal to velocity that we have obtained now so VC is equal to V at point C because this liquid is going to flow through the siphon at velocity V 
so when we are going to take velocity at a so this is assumed at this surface as velocity is 0 and velocity at surface b is assumed as 0 but here <coughs> when this liquid is passed through the siphon then the velocity is not going to be 0 at point c then zc is above this level so that is point c is at the distance of h is equal to 8 minus x so we don't know x value so that x is to be obtained uh, then zc is uh, is nothing but h minus uh, sorry 8 minus x then 4 fl v square divided by 2 gd is the head loss due to friction from point a to c so pa divided by rho g is 10.3 that is given in the problem atmospheric pressure plus of va velocity at point a here is assumed to be 0 plus of za za is assumed 0 because we are taking the surface as a datum is equal to pc divided by rho g <coughs> which is given as 3 meters in this problem you can see here pc divided by rho g absolute 3 meters of water and atmospheric pressure is 10.3 meters of water so here <coughs> 3.0 plus of vc velocity at point c which we have calculated as uh, 0.904 meters 0.904 square divided by 2 into 9.81 plus of zc so zc is this distance so which is we call as a h so h is equal to 8 minus x plus of 4 into f coefficient of friction here given is 0 0.006 0 <coughs> 0 0.006 into l1 is 500 meters into v is velocity that is point 0.904 square divided by 2 into g is 9.81 d is point 0.2 meters so this is only one equation unknown is x so we can find out x using this uh, x is equal to <coughs> 3.24 meters so this is the distance between the top of ridge to the summit c so this distance x is obtained here so this is how we have covered the flow of liquid through siphon okay thank you we will see in the next class the power transmission <coughs>